Good morning, Green Canyon Wolves. Today is Thursday, April 26th. Here are the announcements for today. First, let's turn some time over to GYC to remind us about the Don't Drive Stupid campaign. Hey, it's GYC here. We have a few more fun facts so you don't drive stupid. Remember, Wolves, when driving your car, consider your cell phone an ineligible receiver and turn off those cell phones. It's fun to watch your team be aggressive on the football field, but on the road it can be deadly. So remember, buckle up, slow down, and don't drive stupid. Thanks, GYC. The Academic Olympiad team for next school year will be selected this spring. If you're a good student, well-rounded in all areas of study, and like to work with like-minded students doing math, English, science, and social studies just for fun, you should apply. Current sophomores and juniors can pick up an application from Mr. McMurdo, Miss Anderson, or Mrs. Kebby. The deadline for applications is May 11th. Girls basketball open gyms are being held every Tuesday and Thursday afternoons from 3.30 to 5 here at GC. Please come get ready for summer tournaments and sharpen your skills for next season. If you are in a spring sport, focus on that sport until it's over. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact Coach Bird in room 219. Now let's turn some time over to Mrs. Gom to announce two winners from the high school film festival. Good morning, students. Mrs. Gom here again with some more high school film festival winners and yet at a different angle from the video production studio. This is where we run the teleprompter. This is where we edit the videos and you can see that this is where we record the announcements. So just another different angle. At the Utah High School Film Festival, they have a different category, a special category called addiction recovery, where students produce films to help the, it's actually for a children's friend foundation and they're and they just talk about how to overcome addiction the theme this year was be bold and we had several winners in this category the two that i would like to announce today are andrew needham and carson phil andrew needham won the founders award which is just kind of a special award and carson field won third place What's unique about these awards is they have cash associated with them. So if Andrew and Carson want to come see me, they each won $100, and there is a check in here for $100 for them. So if they come see me today, they'll get their $100. If not, I'm taking it. Congratulations to Carson and Andrew. And right after this, you will see their videos, Andrew's first and then Carson's. Congratulations, guys. Oh, gosh! Why the heck is there a garbage can in the middle of the road? Well, Hector, you could have easily missed that garbage can if you're off your phone. Well, it shouldn't have even been there. And what if it was a kid? Let's look at your past self to show how addicted you are to texting. Do you remember this day? Yeah, it sucked. I failed my science test. You deserved it. You didn't even study. Did you know that phones can keep you awake because of the lighting? So, so, sleep is very important. And this is just for bed. Just walk. You don't need a text while walking. I can see where you come from. Wait, what's your name? Bold. James Bold. Wow, you are bold. When can I go home? You see this? Get your life in balance. Do you remember what you've learned? Yeah. Well, this should help. Bold! Nearly 23% of all high school students use tobacco products. 4,300 deaths occur among underage youth each year due to drug use. About 570,000 people die annually in the U.S. due to drug use. Instead of being addicted, be adventurous. Be courageous. Be fearless. Make the choice. Be bold. Say no to addiction. Say yes to a great life. Thanks, Mrs. Gom, and congrats to Andrew and Carson. Students, all negative lunch balances need to be paid by in full by May 6th. If you owe lunch money, then you will not be able to pick up your yearbook. Seniors, if you own lunch money, you will not get your cap and gown and will not walk at graduation. Please pay lunch balance and keep it at zero or positive balance so that you will not have any issues at the end of the school year. Thanks. 
Come watch the students versus teacher basketball game tonight at 7 p.m. in the gym. Spectators will have the option to bribe the scorekeeper a dollar for a point to the team of their choice. The money raised from this event is going to outside tables and chairs for our school. Let's turn some time over to Chinese Club for their announcement. For all Chinese students, there is a club meeting in Longhawk Church classroom on Thursday, second half of PAC. We are picking the new leadership and we're also eating jalapeno. So make sure to come. Also, if you're interested in taking Chinese or going on the Chinese trip next year, there's a packet with information on it for your parents. Yep, so let me see. Thanks, Chinese Club. Hey, Green Canyon Wolves. The cheer and stunt team need your help. Seven schools across the state made videos for the Utah Honda dealers, and Green Canyon was one of the schools selected. Go to the Utah Honda dealers' Facebook page and like their awesome video to give them a chance to win $1,000. The school that gets the most like wins. You can vote multiple times, so visit often and share with friends, family, and neighbors. Thanks for your support. Let's turn some time over to exec for the birthdays and activities. Happy birthday today to Grace Henry and Michelle Hill. Sports today, we have girls golf playing at the country club. And we got baseball at Mountain Crest in Providence. And then softball's at home. Good luck, guys. Hey guys, Thursday night this week we have the PTA fundraiser. It's the faculty versus student basketball game. Uh, the attendance is free, but please bring money to donate in other ways, like bribing the scorekeepers to change the score. There's going to be a ton of different ways you can donate, so come at 7 o'clock on Thursday night. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Exec. Teachers and students, we now invite you to stand and repeat the Pledge of Allegiance as a class. <laughs> 